All right, y'all. I am out here early this morning. It rained all the most all day yesterday. Some of the worst storms that we have had in a long time. But I'm here at my last hen location, my last hen area that that fruits somewhere on ten trees. Um, but we're gonna go and see. It's it was almost in the 30s last night. Um, it, that should that should have kept the bugs away from them from what we're looking for. So let's go see if we can find some hens. So after this rain, looks to me like we got some lobster mushrooms. Uh, it's been so nice and cold. These things are gonna be bug free. Oh yeah, look at that. Huh? Nice. Barely even touched by a slug. Cut this little part off here. Yeah. Nice. And they get really dense and chunky this time of year. You see them out at all. It's just so cool and damp. Nice. Lobster mushroom. Nice. Nice. A little snack. What in the world is going on here? That is got to be one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. So the top came dislodged from the bottom. That's really cool. That russula got totally separated. Must be because of the rain. <laughs> that has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. You see? That top is actually separated. <laughs> Ooh, y'all. That's the white lobsters that I talk about early in the season. I got a little bit of orange. And the top's been washed off. You can see. They're changed. Those gills are gone. But it's white. And that happens sometimes. It doesn't have to not be turned. And taken over by the, the lobster to be white. Sometimes it's just white stuff. Always best to trim back farther so you can get in them pits. Yeah, there's there's your white lobster. Yeah, so I really wasn't expecting to see lobsters today, to be honest. But since we're here, I will show you what we got. As you can see, that one it's it's not quite turned see there is a difference yeah. there is a difference see that side it hasn't it's white but it's see the white it's different it actually comes off see it's not white white that's still the it's still changing right there so yeah it up. Yeah, I was really not expecting this today. Get off there. See, this one's a little more speckled. Looks like spray paint. All right, so if you look closely, you can see how it's starting to get dark right around that edge there. And that is it starting the turn. That white center, it's still edible, still good. 
if you took it home and ate it, it'd be, it still would be fine. But that is the, that's the sign right there. It's just starting to turn. Just, just, just. Most people don't even look at them like that. All right, y'all. Definitely check your lobsters. There's, there's a lobster up there. Actually, I see. So I see a lobster right there. I see a lobster right there. Lobster right there. Lobster right there. Lobster right there. 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 You keep going down. There. And then right here. Yeah, it's a little older than I. It's a little, little bit older than I like. You see that dark red? As soon as it starts turning that dark, dark red, I don't do it. Yeah, I don't. What I do like to do with them is take it and you take a big tree like that, just throw it up against it, spread the spore. Mm, you see the white? Gee, that's colored white. Doesn't rub off, but that's too tiny. That's a nice one. And the lobster mushroom. I always like to clean the stems. Yeah, that was gone. I chewed it. I'll eat. see the difference in that it's white but it doesn't rub off the way those other ones you see that there really is no more gills left that that's totally turned that is a totally turned lobster but this one little area that I have it's uh, probably about 10 acres but it produces white undersided lobsters Which I think is actually really cool. Hmm. Now lobsters are they're out in full force. Sweet. Yeah, that one's old. But that one is not old. That one's still under the ground. Nice. Nice. That works. Same thing, you see that dark center? That means it's really moist and it's just borderline starting to rot. Same thing with that little bit of a dark right there. As long as you did something with it right away, still good. Nice lobster. There's a lobster up there, there, there. That one's bad, but that one's fresh. You could tell by the color it's been it's been growing when it's raining. Oh yeah, yeah that's beautiful. Now that's one pretty lobster. Most definitely.
Beautiful. Wow, that's a big one. The one that's that big, I would trim around like that. Just so you can get inside there. Oh yeah, that's meaty. Nice. Now, in case y'all were wondering, this is not an anything special knife. It's literally a Sam's Club knife that just happened to have a sheath. If anyone wants to sponsor my channel with a really nifty knife, I'd be... Yeah, I would be more than happy to try your product out and give you my true review. Wow. So today's going to be a lobster day. That was totally unexpected totally unexpected that's crazy it's a good one yeah that's a good one nice and meaty wow that's that's beyond beautiful right there you don't get much better than that sweet yeah you cannot discriminate on what you're looking for when you go out <laughs> I came out looking for chickens and hens and I ended up with lobsters. Lobsters. More lobsters. Lobsters. And then there's some lobsters up there. Wow, there's, this is lobster day. <laughs> That's a nice one. Is just cut those little lobes off. Cut down in like that, flat. That way you can see if there's any bugs down in there. Nice. See, there it is again with the speckle. It's so wet. This one's so wet. I'm just going to get rid of this one. Yeah, and you see that red? I don't mess with them. Even though that's still probably pretty good for a day or two, but I'm I'm good with that one. Same thing there. Same thing that big old one. It's nice. It's meaty, but it wouldn't last, so I'm good. Alright, yeah, you see that? Now that's not turned. And see there's a difference that's not turned versus a white one a white one that doesn't rub off so even though you could probably eat that I don't mess with that so this is a perfect example of the Rusla right here the host species, little indented cap, and that turns into a lobster mushroom. Oh wow, look at that. As you can see, that's host species, that's what happens afterwards. Wow, look at that, that is awesome. That one's so cool. Yeah, that one's neat. See how no more gills. No more gills.
All right, Joe. So today we were looking for hens. We ended up finding a lot of lobsters. Not a whole lot of hens out right now, but surprising, you might want to go check your lobster spots if you're in the Northeast, because they are absolutely going off. That, that's a bunch right there. Keep taking those and dehydrating them, and I'm bringing them to a festival I'm going to next weekend. A four day festival, so hopefully we'll have a lot of advertising if you're uh, there at Harry Brown's Hill next weekend. Hope to see you there. If not, just enjoy these future forages and I'll see you later.